Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many users encounter when working with NFS exports in WSL. One of our viewers has run into a problem while trying to mount an NFS share, and they received the error message, mount.nfs, no such device. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how we can resolve it together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error message you're encountering indicates that the NFS client is unable to find the necessary device to mount the NFS export. Let's start by checking if the NFS client is installed on your WSL environment. If the NFS client is already installed, the next step is to ensure that the NFS service is running on the server side. You can check this by running the following command on your NFS server. Next, verify that the NFS export is correctly configured. You can do this by checking the exports file on your NFS server. Look for the line that corresponds to your export path. If everything looks good, ensure that your WSL has access to the network. You might need to adjust your firewall settings or check your network configuration. Finally, try mounting the NFS export again. If you still encounter issues, consider using the bash o no lock option in your mount command. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. As of October 2020, you can mount NFS with WSL2, but it requires hardware virtualization to be enabled. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using WSL1 and facing the no such device error with NFS, there's a workaround. You can map the NFS drive in Windows using the Map Network Drive feature. Once you've mapped the drive, you can mount it in WSL. First, create a directory in SLE, then use the mount command. Keep in mind, the access speed to a map drive in WSL might be slow, so manage your expectations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The error message you're seeing suggests that the NFS kernel modules may not be loaded properly. Additionally, make sure that the exported path, which is slash ns, exists on the server with the IP address 192.168.1.175. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the NFS client issue under WSL, first understand that NFS requires a client and a server. In this case, Windows or WSL acts as the server. 
Since WSL NFS doesn't work internally, you can set up an NFS server on Windows instead. First, download an NFS server for Windows from the provided link. Then, configure the shared directory in the exports file to specify the directory you want to share. Finally, mount the shared directory on your destination Linux system using the mount command with the appropriate options. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.